all right so we are back again on the highway and once again that's Lamayuru small village but really beautiful it's I think already 12 past probably it's already 12 30 if I'm not wrong and at least by max 6 we should be in Leh although it is just 100 kilometers but as I said we'll be taking lots of breaks in between we'll try to spend some time at Magnetic Hill then Sangam where Indus and Zanskar you know meet together that's a confluence of sea confluence of river in this context I remember the confluence of sea you know the big debate on Indo-Pacific so let's not get into the Indo-Pacific at this stage that we'll always discuss in my class but here we'll talk about confluence of two rivers Zanskar and Indus later and then to Patar Sahib which is again a very very important place where it has a very religious religious perspective it's very very important a very holy place I would say so we'll be spending at least an hour there and then place it is just 10 15 kilometers from there all right so Tata bye bye Lamayuru until we meet again yeah Leh is 120 from here whereas the Google Maps says that Leh is just 100 kilometers whatever it is let's rock and roll there are lots and lots of guest houses and homestays here ample of opportunity so one should not be worried and there Mulland for you again that was the top view of a moonland and this is literally as a flat view different perspective <laughs> yeah I hope this phenomena remains forever for ages to come so that every rider every traveler will enjoy this phenomena Moonland, Tata Moonland. See you sometime later, after some years, obviously. It's actually a mode, see mountains of mud fascinating fill the curve don't hug them <laughs> this is very important fill the curve don't hug them you know all along the lay route right from Kashmir and beyond probably we have this beautiful thoughts and messages have been displayed across this route and they are really beautiful meanwhile moonland again enjoy the beauty of moonland yeah baby and these messages have been put up by bro 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 border road organization chalo tata moonland see you some other time and you have a maroon mountains see i was talking about maroon mountains here they are a different color composition altogether this is the beauty of lay baba this is the beauty of lay you will never ever gonna get this anywhere in the world i believe but only in lay look at the mountains maroon color color again geographers please help us to understand why and how this phenomena is here in Ladakh I hope everything is okay here yeah the entire stretch is really beautiful I don't feel like putting off my GoPro but then I have to you know because otherwise files would be really big and it will kill my lot of time to eventually to segregate them at the time of editing so catch you after some time until i see something another beautiful phenomena all right see you later a few moments later it's really windy 
and we are right now in the valley you know all the winding roads will take us down to the flat terrain and then it will be relatively going to be easy ride shankar is riding right just right behind me and slowly slowly we are trying to you know cover these curves and as biaro has rightly have said enjoy my curves but don't hug them <laughs> join hills join hearts project vijayak look at the mountains wow another temple monastery repair and prevent don't repair and repeat something snow follower point something snow follower points i don't know look at this mountain carvings right beautiful huh wow look at the mountain again see the complexion of mountains has changed all right this is the one of the best beautiful road to ride right through the curves valleys and a mountain and next you have a river wow this is just wow wow moment wow yes now shankar is ahead i just want to be ahead so that he also enjoys and i record his feelings and because he shows his feelings through some body movement wow nice yes it is beautiful all right so now mountains curves are over and i think relatively will have now flat road for next 100 kilometers in between i remember there would be one small winding road will get probably after khalse yeah after khalse just before magnetic hill otherwise the rest of the road would be literally flat and straight we are almost reaching towards khalse yeah we have reached khalse so now we will have to enter our details again now that road from the left side comes from daha village uh, very famous for aryan village and then it connects here at khalse Okay this is a new bridge and beautiful prayer flag Yes so there would be a checking I hope they will stop us if they don't we'll continue as I said We'll get to know So far nobody is around So yeah so as I was talking about at khalse check post you have to enter your bike details ha huh? yeah done it's very easy thank you to them for making process a bit easy and once they register your details like name your bike number and contact number and where are you from and where are you heading your job is done so le is 97 from here roughly okay so we have a petrol pump 2 kilometers on this road that's another very important update that we have a petrol pump at khalse literally at khalse all right so we have reached khalse village this is a busy market at khalse yeah i remember 7 years back we took a stop here for a lunch since then a lot of things have changed back then it was simple village and they didn't had this bridge you know they had some other bridge very small somewhere bottom yeah i remember there's a road below somewhere below this is a new bridge which was getting constructed at that point of time it was very simple village but now it has become a really developed village i would say with lot of good infrastructure good concrete houses not any more mud houses and the group of riders are coming good meteors great 
Fantastic. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Probably they are heading back to Srinagar. Ah, okay. Here is the petrol pump. Buy Indian oil. So remember, at Khalse you have a petrol pump. So you don't have to worry about fuel anymore on this stretch. Yeah. So this is the famous straight. Just cleaning the lens. Okay. Good. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. So we are almost closing in today. Another 50 kilometers or so. And this highway is very famous because of its straight. Oh, my bag is open. So this is the famous highway. Almost for a four to five kilometers, I believe. This is gonna be a straight highway. Speed 40, as prescribed by the authority. You know, I'm falling short of breath in between. I don't know why. Maybe because of this altitude now. We have gained a much of the altitude. I don't know how much. This is that stretch a sudden turn has caused a lot of accidents here you know people have gone straight so you got to be very careful over here i remember one youtuber in a long back i don't remember the name of that youtuber who actually went straight down this side and crashed so as ladakh is really beautiful it is also dangerous if you are not you know careful enough to pay your attention on the road Manali is 510 from here so more ready 258 okay good and again it start drizzling I don't know what's the problem I hope it doesn't rain otherwise again I have to disconnect my GoPro and put it in the back there are a lot of lots of this stupas look at this beautifully how they have constructed small big all along this road in Nimmo village we are right now in Nimmo village we have a lot of this stupas I want to try their uh, uh, soup tonight you know it's called Thupka let's see if I can get it where we'll be staying otherwise we'll go out because that Thupka is really really uh, good for health by the way and I'm feeling little low that's because oh this is a ruined village that's because you know because of the tonsil and cold my nose been running for last two days so I think Tupka will give me some strength and obviously tonight I need to take some medicine wow one more stupa big one there's one more another two are under construction but the giant and the biggest stupa here in Leh and I believe in the world is at Leh where we have this Shanti stupa uh, where we'll be visiting tomorrow obviously tomorrow is our Leh Darshan tomorrow day after tomorrow and then one more day in and around Leh we'll be exploring taking enough sufficient rest because then we are going to have a very hectic schedule particularly you know we'll be riding across Khardungla, then Umlingla, all those big passes. So, taking sufficient rest is very, very important. And left side, you have another stupa. There, you see, another big one. This is the land of stupa, by the way. Small, big, medium. And I think we have a speed breaker. Yeah, the first speed breaker 
of a journey in fact in Leh I have not seen any uh, speed breaker while coming all the way from Sodmark till here so this was the first one so we have one super here we have one stupa over there right and one we have right up straight again in the left side of the road I believe yeah yeah so we have one more stupa see another big giant one Leh is 34 kilometer from here okay this is all army establishment so I'll just switch off my camera